class session two of the week. Um, we are in week five, right? Yeah, uh, week five. So session two, yesterday was that combo workout. So hopefully you're feeling pretty good about today. Um, yesterday's workout was also sh much shorter um, session than the other sessions. So not sure how this one will be, but um, again, just being creative with the exercises. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, let's start with our chest expansion. Split arms. And down for dynamic. <clears throat> Cat and cow. And seated position, we're going to go, go ahead and start with our hip circles seated today. As usual, just alternating between the two. So go ahead and lift and circle. And reverse. And switch legs. And reverse. All right, we are going to come down. So remember, we're lowering our legs just slightly for our hundred now. So go ahead and bring your legs with you all the way up, and then we're going to lower them slightly and go ahead and begin our hundred. You're done. Head down, feet down. So the routine. So we're going to do a lot of single or a lot of leg drop exercises today. And so we'll start with our hands uh, behind our neck when we do this. So let's start with our single leg drop. So go ahead and bring our knees in, head and shoulders up. And we're going to put our hands behind our neck and keeping our calves parallel to the floor. While we're scooping, we're just dropping one leg at a time. Pull it up, drop, pull it up. So just alternating between the legs, slowing it down, controlling the movement. There's no speed here. Keeping the leg bent. One more on each side. And rest. Good. Next one is obviously the double leg drop. So both legs will come down. So just really focusing on connecting that low back to the mat is the most important key here. So again, same starting position, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck, and both legs come down. 
stay connected to the mat and pull up. Nice and easy pace. Breathing, obviously. And we'll go one more. And down. Nice. Okay, so crisscross a little different today. We're going to do a single leg crisscross. Um, so my other foot is on the floor. So this leg is going to be dynamic. The other leg is going to be static. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with our leg in. Hands are over our ears, elbows facing forward, and we're rotating here. So we're starting here in this rotated, rotated position here. And then I'm going to extend this leg and come back to center with my trunk. So pull it in and extend. One more. Good. All right, we're going to switch legs. Pull it in and rotate. Extend. In. Out. In. Out. We'll go one more. and rest. Nice. All right, so the next two exercises, let's see, we're going to go, yeah, so we'll do bridges at the end. So I think this is the first day where we've gone all through the exercises without a break with the bridge. So we're going to do traditional single straight and traditional double straight. All right, back to back. So the first time through, one at a time, legs all the way up, head and shoulders up and single straight gentle pull in the back of the leg chin to chest scooping breathing one more each leg and rest <clears throat> so double straight, traditional this time, so legs down, legs up. So go ahead and bring your legs up to start, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck, and then we're lowering and lifting. Nice and slow. Remember, not relying upon momentum, lifting and lowering. One more. All right, feet down, arms down. All right, so shoulder bridge with leg extension. So we did bridge yesterday with leg extension. We're gonna actually do a full shoulder bridge. So hips up, arms all the way back. And from here, keeping my hips lifted, I'm extending one leg out. Pulling it back, other leg out, pulling it back, come all the way down with the arms and the hips. All right, here we go. Shoulder bridge, leg extension, come on down, repeat. All right, nice job. All right, we have our roll up. So straight legs, arm sweep behind. If we can, rolling up, just like last time. If not, you're assisting with bent legs. 
or roll up holes. Nice and slow coming down. And we'll have one last roll up, finish at the top, or roll to your side and push yourselves up. All right, so we have spine twist again uh, with our hands behind our head. And uh, we're going to practice that, um, that arm extension. So. Hands are behind my head, sitting up tall. I'm twisting, and then I'm extending, and I'm gonna come back to center. Hands behind my head, twist, arms out, back to center, again, okay? So when we twist here, and when we extend our arms, we can press back. Just that bonus twist here. Come back to center. Arms back behind. Twist. Arms. Back. One more time. Twist. Arms. Press. Back. Arms. to center. Go ahead and bend your knees. Stomach massage with single leg extension. But instead of holding our thighs here in this uh, balanced position, we're actually going to bring our hands to our sides. So hands are down at my sides. I am going to keep my feet on the ground. So watch me, I'm just gonna slightly lean back. So I'm staying scooped here. I'm slightly leaning back and I'm keeping my feet down on the floor. Hands are on the floor. And I'm going to extend my leg and lift my chest. So it's just like stomach massage in that balanced position, except that our feet are on the ground and we are on the floor, connected. So you're just gonna shift that trunk forward and back. Change position of that lumbar area, that low back. A little more challenging, right? And we'll go one more. Good. All right, let's go front stretch. Release some tension in that low back. Good. All right, if you need to layer your mat, you can. We're gonna go into our bent leg rocker now. So it's uh, transformed from a rolling like a ball to a bent leg rocker. And so how we do that, remember, feet are up, legs are parted, hands are underneath the calves, we did this last time, and arms are just leveraged alongside the legs here. So everything else is the same. We're gonna roll back, then roll up. So just a different hand position as well as leg position. Everything is the same. Still scooping, focusing on the scoop to control your pace. Staying rounded. And we'll go one more. Good. Okay. 
<clears throat> we're going to lean back on our hands. We're going to keep our feet on the ground just for a moment because one leg is going to do the work. So we're lifting our rib cage here and I'm going to extend one leg here and going to pull my knee in and out and up and down. In and out and up and down. In Down one more in out up and down switching legs here we go in out up down in out up down in out up down one more in out up and down good spine stretch legs are split One more. <clears throat> Good. All right, so we have another version of our mermaid. So go ahead and bring your legs to your side. <clears throat> I don't know if we've done this before. I feel like we have presentation arm. I think we have. <clears throat> so here we go. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull towards the bent leg first. We're gonna bring our hand down. We're gonna sweep over, and then I'm going to reach out in front, come back over the top. So this is, I call this presentation arm, okay? So I'm presenting. So that is the difference. I think we've done this before. Here we go, over, making sure we're sitting up tall, posture, here, lean forward, sweep your arm out, come back, and sweep over the top. So I maintain a flat back here, coming over the hips of the leg here, and back. Let's go one more on this side. Switch your legs. Pull towards the legs. Sweep. Present. Sweep. Repeat. in front. So we're going to turn over and we're going to do some Superman lifts again. <clears throat> um, but we're going to Superman lift hand flutter kick. Okay. So we're going to try the full arm sweep Superman. So we lift and then we'll sweep our arms and we'll come back and we're going to flutter kick during that time. So let's try it. Sounds complicated, right? Complex. Let me demonstrate. <clears throat> so my arms start up. I'm going to lift my arms and I'm going to flutter kick while I'm sweeping my arms back and forward and then arms and legs come down. Okay, 
not too complicated. Remember, it's not a huge lift. We're just lifting comfortably. Flutter kick. Sweep. Sweep. And down. Up. Kick. Sweep. Sweep. And down. Go one more, up, kick, sweep, and down, good. All right, up on our elbows, lift your hips, we're gonna go single leg kicks. Abdominals are pulled up and in, back is stabilized. and a little back stretch. <clears throat> All right, push up, leg pull down. <clears throat> Either modified or traditional, it's up to you. <clears throat> One more. Good. All right, knees down, table position. So we have a new exercise. It's called front split. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and bring one foot forward, staying on my knee. So I'm really just working on um, hip mobility or hip flexibility and balance here. So I'm going to bring my hands down to my mat right outside my lead foot. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to manage where my foot should be based on my lunge forward. So I'm going to go ahead and push my hips down, which I'm lunging here, right? And I just want to make sure that I get a nice big stretch here through the front of this back leg here. <clears throat> and I'm going to make sure my hands are right outside my foot, my lead foot. And I also want to make sure that my knee is in alignment, pretty much alignment with my front toe, my lead foot, okay? So heel stays down. I'm not weight over my toes. I'm just meeting my toes here. And my heel stays down here on this front lunge here. Now, I'm going to transfer my weight back and I do that by pulling my hips back and lifting my toes of that lead leg and I'm going to start to straighten this leg slightly without locking it out so there's still a little bit of flexion but my weight is coming back down without sitting down onto my back leg. I'm going to see if I can try to keep my hands in the same position and I'm gonna try and connect my chest to my thigh for this big stretch through the back of my leg, as well as my lower back. And then I'm going to transfer my weight forward, pushing my hip down and my heels down, or heel down. Come back, toe up, start to lean forward, straighten that front leg. Come forward, push the hip down, heel down. So you may not be very flexible and you probably get to like right about here and that's a, a good enough stretch. That's totally fine, right? And then maybe this is as far as you go. Whatever is good for you. But we don't want to come all the way down. I want you to hold your weight. When you come back, I want you to hold your weight here. So even if you are flexible, 
hold it there, okay? Let's go ahead and switch legs. <clears throat> so again, find that lead foot position. When you lunge forward, you feel like your knee is still right about up your toes there, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and come back, toes up. So I'm less flexible on my right leg, so I don't go down as far, I don't connect my chest as far. Lean forward, heel down, and that's just what's good for me. My hamstring is much tighter on my right. But each time I come back, I'm seeing if I can go a little bit deeper into that stretch, just little by little. So I'm not forcing it, I'm just guiding it. So this is called front split. I'll go one more. All right, and we're like back, kneeling tall. <clears throat> so our lean back is now going to be called a heel touch. And how we make it a heel touch is arms are out to our sides, making sure that our trunk is nice and strong and flat, and upright, right, tall. So our glutes are engaged, our abdominals are engaged. And I'm going to lean back and slightly rotate to try and touch my heel with my other arm moving forward. Come back, arms out. Other side, lean and rotate. Touch the heel. Come back. So I'm not reaching or arching my back. I'm just rotating to touch the heel. Trunk stays in alignment the shoulder blades, nice and slow, controlled, so your lower back is working here, and your quads, and your glutes. Okay. Table position, so dog kick. We've done these before as well. We're gonna do pulses. So I'm gonna extend my left leg back, my right arm forward, and from here, I'm going to lift both of them here, and I'm gonna hold them up and pulse at the top. And lower, pull in, switch arm and leg, lift up, Pulse. And down and switch. Up, pulse. Stay balanced and centered. And down and switch. Up, pulse. And down, low back stretch. Come over to our side on our elbow. We have clams today. So both legs are bent. I'm on my elbow. Remember with clams, bring my knees forward slightly, keeping my feet ankles connected here. I'm going to open or lift my knee away from the other knee, keeping the ankles closed or touching and come down. So I'm creating resistance, nice and strong in the hip. Opening and closing. Abdominals are pulled in. Breathing. Slowing it down so I can create the resistance. We'll go one more. And we're going to bring this leg back and extend this bottom leg. 
Okay, now I'm going to lift my arm. I'm gonna flex my foot of my straight leg here and I'm gonna lift and connect my hand to my foot if I can. And pull up. Switch sides on our elbow, both legs folded, arm on hip, and clamps. Flex that straight leg, arm up, and lower leg lift, and close. Seated position, knee hug, and we're going to start again. So of course this time through we're going to double up on some exercises. <clears throat> First two we'll double up on and those are our leg drops. So go ahead and come on down to your back. Bring your knees with you. Hands behind your neck, part the legs slightly, calves parallel to the floor, scooping, and single leg drop. more each leg and then we'll go into our double leg drop. Here we go. And down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Down. And rest. <clears throat> All right, so our single leg crisscross. So one leg is working, other leg is static. Hands are around the ears, elbows are facing forward, same as before. Let's go ahead and begin with our knee in, hands over ears, lifting and rotating. Here we go. Extend, back to center. Rotate. One more. And switch. In, out, in, out, in, out. One more. So back to back, we have single straight traditional and double straight traditional, okay? <clears throat> so try to stay with me if you can, both legs all the way up, head and shoulders up, scooping, here we go, single straight, gentle pull.
double straight at the top, hands behind your neck, lower, and lift. down, arms down, shoulder bridge, leg extension, come on down, and repeat. And come on down. Good. All right. Extend your legs. Arms behind you. Rolling up. Go one more and finish at the top. All right, we have spine twist. We're going to keep our arms extended this time. So legs extended, arms extended. We're going to go ahead and twist back to center. Other side, twist, back to center. We're gonna go two times on this side. One, back to center. Same side, two, back to center. Other side, one, back to center. Same side, two, back to center. Singles again, one side, other side, doubles, last time here, one, two, other side, one, and two, good, all right, go ahead and bring your legs in. So we have stomach massage, single leg extension with our hands down at our side this time. So just leaning back a little bit, staying scooped. We're gonna extend and lift our rib cage up. Pull it down and up and down and up and down, up and down. One more, up, and front stretch. Go ahead and lean forward. If you need to layer your mat, go ahead and do so. We have our bent leg rocker. <clears throat> so balance position here. Part your legs, bend your knees, hands underneath your calves, and scoop and roll back. One more. Good. 
All right, so we are going to lean back on our hands. <clears throat> one leg is static and one leg is moving. So straighten that leg, chest high, knee in, out, up, and down, in, out, up, and down. Switch legs, in, out, up, and down. Spine stretch, legs are split. Presentation arm. Find your position sitting up tall. Here we go. Over towards the legs. Over away and out. Switch the legs. Hopefully that was a little bit easier this time, right? Towards the legs. So we're going to turn over and we're going to repeat that Superman with the flutter kicks. <clears throat> if it's too challenging, you can just do the Superman lifts. It's up to you. Or just the sweeping of the arm without the flutter kicks, okay? Here we go. Up, kick, sweep. And down. Try not to hold your breath. Breathe through it. And down. One more. Good. All right. On our elbows. Single leg kicks. We're going to pulse at the top. Push-up leg pull down, traditional or modified, it's up to you. I'm going to go modified this time. One 
action. All right, front split, that new exercise. Here we go, table, one foot forward, lunge forward, find your first spot for your knee and your toe and your hands, heels down, come on back, toes up, straighten, lower, So if you have to slide your hands forward and back, that's fine, but try not to slide them too far back because you want to get an arm stretch as well, okay? I like to try and keep my trunk connected to my leg because I, I can from this side. All right, switch legs. One. Flip that. All right, we got kneeling tall. Heel touches. So that's with our arms outstretched to our sides. I like to widen my knees. My feet are closer together. It's up to you. Walk in my hips with my glutes, nice and snug. Lean back. Slight rotation. Posture, breathing, abdominals should be pulled in, right? One more each side. Running table. Dog kicks, right arm, left leg, lift and pulse. And down and switch. Try to stay center and balance. Want no excess movement. Switch, except for the arm and the leg. Switch. One switch. And low back stretch. All right, on our side, elbow clams. <clears throat> All right, we're going to add a leg extension. So here we go. Ready? Clam, extension, pull it back, down, up, out, in, down. One more. Upper leg back, bottom leg straight, flexion of the foot, arm up and lift. Down. Last one. Good. And switch. Leg extension, here we go. Oh, sorry. Clam leg extension. I was looking at my elbow. Last 
last one. Bonus burn leg. All right, flexed foot, arm up, lift. Last one. Seated accordions. Woo. Good. All right, legs extended, arm work here. A little different exercise. So we're gonna start with our arms extended out in front of us, and we're gonna pull our elbows back, chest height. Then I'm going to lower my elbows to my side, keeping my arms bent, lift my arms, and go back to start, okay? Two moves in one, here we go. Pull, down, up, create resistance, breathe, sit up tall, Stretch forward. Sit up tall, leg over leg, pull in. And switch, leg over leg, pull. <clears throat> Hopefully you feel good about this workout. A little taller, right? A little more limber, a little stronger, happier. And that is it, you guys. Nice job today. We'll see you next time.